What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Yesterday in the LCS, kind of a weird thing was going down. We had a little bit of caster drama going on on Twitter and in the community. Now I know this, this story is a little bit weirder and a little bit more unusual. Not something that I would usually talk about or cover. Um, but I do still think it's a little bit interesting. I still think there'll be some funny talking points. I still think there is a lot to talk about here. So I still hope it'll make for a good video. I hope you guys still do enjoy. But what we're going to be talking about today is the drama going on behind the scenes that happened yesterday between Freak and Captain Flowers with Freak attempting to call out Captain Flowers and then receiving a lot of backlash from the community. We'll be going over this whole story, giving my thoughts and opinions, explaining the situation to you guys, and hopefully getting your guys' thoughts and opinions as well. Definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I would appreciate it so, so much. Like I said, a little bit different kind of video, so all, all the extra love, support, everything would be absolutely awesome because I don't know how well this video is going to do at the end of the day. Um, also, subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. With that being said, First up, we need to watch the clip that is in question. This story starts out in the Dignitas 100 Thieves game yesterday in week, or not week, week three, week one, day three of the LCS, uh, where Captain Flowers and I believe Kobe are casting 100 Thieves versus Dignitas. Um, you know, Dignitas is, they have a pretty significant gold lead. They're getting close to ending the game, yada, yada, yada. Picking up here, um, and Captain Flowers has a little quote that Freak, you know, didn't necessarily like, took took a little bit of a, a problem with. So let's see what Captain Flowers had to say. Think about it, 100 Thieves on this bear, and that thing oh, is... No. Oh no, Dardock might just be your target here again. FBI popping the clans, FBI is ready to go. Fake God had to flash to get away last time, and now he's gonna die. Wind becomes lightning, means Saligo is gonna be locked down as well. Double kill back over to Dogma, and there comes another potential kill. Dardock tried to fight someday. Sorry, buddy, that champion was made years ago, and this one's brand new. <laughs> Meanwhile so that is what Captain Flowers said, that freak took a problem with his little joke about old champions versus new champions the fact that Gwen is probably a little overtuned a little bit busted the fact that Gwen is a new champion and new champions are always crazy you know at the end of the day essentially just a 200 years meme he's obviously messing around he's joking around Kobe laughs as well Kobe thinks it's funny he's not you know getting mad about it whatever whatever but again Freak did have a problem with this and uh what's weird to me is instead of saying something to Captain Flowers, a guy who he sees all the time, maybe every single day, maybe every other day, you know, whatever, multiple times a week. I don't know if Freak was in the studio that day or whatever. I don't know all the specifics, um, but I know they have meetings and stuff all the time. Instead of saying something to him in person, instead of DMing him, instead of saying something at like a production meeting or something like that, he decides to go to Twitter to try and call out and roast Captain Flowers mid-game? That was so weird to me. So let's see what actually Freak had to say. There was this Reddit thread about it. It only got a couple of upvotes. Didn't really blow up that big. But he said during yesterday's matches, Freak tweeted about Captain Flyer's cast where he said that Darius is straight up outclassed by Gwen due to Gwen being a new champion and Darius being years old. However, the tweet has since been deleted. Did anyone get a screenshot? And this guy, uh, he didn't get a screenshot of the specific tweets, but I, I can confirm these are what the tweets did say. I, I did reply to the tweets at the time, but I wasn't thinking uh, Freak was going to delete them. I didn't screenshot them either, but these are what the tweet said. So Freak's original tweet was, I know he's mostly kidding, but saying that a 5-0 top leaner beats a 1-2 jungler because she was released more recently feels pretty bad. Yeah, Gwen is probably overtuned, but maybe acknowledge that some someday is fed because he played well. And then somebody, uh, you know, replies to Freak and is like, you know, hey, it's not that deep, man. It's just a 200 years meme. And he said, not really. He's just doing a really low effort. Uh, does anyone else new champions overtuned? Flowers is a great caster and his finger is right on the pulse of the community. There's a reason he's beloved, but it's still throwing the game under the bus and failing to acknowledge the player. Now, again, I thought this was such a weird take from Freak. I don't know what he is thinking or, or, or what is going on here. And he did receive a lot of backlash on Twitter and on Reddit and everything. People are like... What in the heck are you doing? Again, uh, it's just really, really funny to me because a lot of the times casters and the personalities in the League of Legends community do receive uh, negative feedback, whether it's on Reddit, Twitter, whatever. And I, Freak has definitely been uh, a guy who has received some of this in the past. And they're always like, oh, guys, don't put down the casters. Oh, guys, you don't have to talk crap about the casters. Oh, guys, you don't have to, you know, build up one caster while tearing down another. And then this is a caster himself, a, a friend of, of Captain Flowers, at least a colleague and co-worker of Captain Flowers publicly taking to Twitter to his 315,000 Twitter followers mid-game to try and tear down Captain Flowers over a joke? I thought this was so weird. I have no idea what Freak was thinking. And again, yes, he has since deleted these tweets, but uh, 
you know, I think like an apology or something is definitely in order. I think this is so weird and absolutely not something you want going on behind the scenes of the LCS, uh, of your production, of your staff, whatever. Why are casters trying to tear down each other? Why is Freak, uh, I know I saw some tweets like this, like one of the most senior members of the cast, if not the most senior member, trying to tear down other casters. To me, that was so, so weird. Um, and I also did think there was uh, some funny replies and stuff to this. Uh, Freak did say, Darius is 000, zero versus 100 Thieves. So far, if you don't count Dardox, completely free ganks, regardless of champ. Champ is giga overrated in that role. He's a good top laner. He's a bad jungler, draft better. And this is a uh, freak making fun of himself for his takes on Rumble Jungle during MSI. Um, so he's just kind of memeing on himself here. But this guy does reply. He said, I'm glad you deleted the tweet, but I think my response is still uh, uh, worth your consideration. Uh, he said, I'm not saying Captain Flowers was sitting there analyzing every aspect of the fight, but in that situation, Gwen was sitting on gold, Darius mechanically played better, and Darius is a good champion of that matchup, so mentioning champ balance isn't too far off from reality. And there's some solid points there. He also said, uh, also going straight for Captain Flowers after making a single joke seems ironic and like projection after the community calls you out for something that you said not in jest, that was a shit Take. So it seems like you're pointing at him to shift attention, and that's not a good look. Now, I thought that was hilarious. Obviously, this guy's being like a psychologist Andy. This guy probably got that uh, psychology true crime video and is recommended. All of a sudden, you know, he's trying to dissect every little thing that's going on. But there were a lot of takes like that. They're like, Freak, are you jealous of Captain Flowers? Why are you being so weird? Why are you randomly roasting him for one little joke? He said on the cast that a lot of people thought was funny. Um, and again, would Freak want somebody dissecting every little thing he says in the broadcast? I mean, yeah, some people do that but it's never been one of his colleagues one of his friends one of his co-workers and again there's just better places to do it they have production meetings for a reason they have stuff that goes on behind the scenes for a reason and also freak you are not captain flowers boss you know there are producers there are higher ups at riot that if they don't like what captain flowers is saying they can say something to him that is absolutely not your place and that is just so so weird to me and man that must have been so weird um behind the scenes so awkward for for people to just be dealing with that but Freak did reply to this tweet and he said, I think trying to psychoanalyze people over Twitter is a bad use of literally everyone's time. And that's a fair take. You know, again, Freak doesn't acknowledge what anyone's saying at all. Doesn't really apologize. Doesn't really admit he was wrong. Uh, you know, whatever. That's fine. If he thinks he was right, great. I don't I don't think many people are going to agree with that. But I did think there was a banger reply here. And this guy said, I think diverting negative attention towards a friend and co-worker is worse than wasting time and worth a small bit of consideration, which is all I asked for, which is absolutely hilarious. Freak's trying to say, you know, he's not going to waste his own time when yeah he's doing stuff that is absolutely uh, a waste of time and i just thought it's really really weird captain flowers is personally probably my favorite caster in, in all of league of legends esports i know he's a lot of people's favorite caster yeah everyone has taste everyone has opinions whatever but uh man uh, such a small comment that really meant nothing it was just so weird and i i think it could possibly have something to do i've seen people with this take as well that freak is just a really really big yes man for riot and he's like oh don't don't talk about balance don't talk about new champions being op blah 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 just say someday played good hey guys did you see someday kill him there someday played so good like no what captain what makes captain flowers great is that he's different he he does say things differently he does joke around he's high energy he's saying the things that a lot of people are thinking that most of the casters won't say um and again at the end of the day it was absolutely a joke you know it, there there's like udir is one of the best champions in competitive right now he was made like 55 years ago um you know the, it is a meme that new champions are overpowered and they usually are but that's not what decides fights. That's not what decides games. That's not what decides plays. Um, so why is Freak getting so mad about this? I have no idea. I just thought the story was very, very weird and definitely wanted to talk about it um, and, and just shed some light on the situation. And I do hope that Freak learns from this, recognizes that he's wrong, maybe apologizes, maybe put something out publicly. I feel like that'd be a good ending to this, but uh, whatever. I just hope this doesn't occur again in the future. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Do you think Freak was right here? Is Captain Flowers in the wrong? Is Freak in the wrong? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay updated on my latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.